Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the JLP government saving the JUTC. Now, under the new Minister of Transport, Daryl Vaz, the JUTC has brought in 170 state-of-the-art buses. 170. And this is within the last two years because, because Minister Vaz just became Minister of Transport. Now, the eight years before he became Minister of Transport, eight years, only 136 buses were brought in. So we have to say job well done to Minister Vaz because he is getting the job done. So guys, let us know what you think about this. In within two years, he brought in 170 buses. Let us know what you think. Leave your comments in the section below. Now, the JUTC is very important to Jamaica. Jamaica doesn't have a domestic airline service, and they don't have a passenger train service. So for people to move around, you need to use the bus. And the JUTC serves Kingston, Portmore, Spanish Town, that area, the Kingston Metropolitan Transport Region. And this is where you find the largest populations, or largest population in Jamaica. I would say probably about over half of all the people that live in Jamaica live in this area. And the JUTC is the official bus service for this area. So we have to really say job well done. Now, why are these buses important? To be effective in service in these areas, the JUTC needs to roll out 400 buses a day. Before Minister Vaz became Minister of Transport, they were rolling out less than 200. Other administrations have allowed, allowed the bus service to just deteriorate to the point where people had to be waiting hours on a bus, to the point where it was just becoming a problem. It, it was a problem. So these new buses are very important. Now we're going to go through an article that gives more information on this. 100 new compressed natural gas CNG buses that were formerly hand that were formerly handed over to the state-run Jamaica Urban Transit Company represent the largest single addition to the entity's fleet. The fleet already includes 25 CNG buses and the addition of the 100 new buses is expected to significantly expand the JUTC's capacity to provide cleaner and more efficient service. The provision also signifies the government's commitment to improving and building out the public transport sector. Minister of Science, Energy, Telecommunications and Transport Darrell Vaz said that these buses will serve the parishes of Hanover, Westmoreland, Trelawney and St. James. Every bus you see here today represents more jobs, less waiting times, more productivity, safer commute, and improved service and comfort, Vaz said. He noted that since 2023, a total of 170 buses have been purchased at a cost of $5 billion. Of the recent addition, Vaz said we have purchased 100 new CNG buses for the improvement of public transportation for the first time in modern Jamaica and we have done so without any external financing or any need for loans. A breakdown of buses acquired over the last 10 years includes 69 in 2014, 27 in 2015, and 35 in 2016, and 5 CNG buses in 2019. In 2023, the JUTC fleet was expanded with an additional 70 buses, comprising 45 diesel, 20 CNG and for the first time 5 electric vehicle units. The JUTC has an exclusive mandate to provide public transportation service within the Kingston Metropolitan Transport Region operating on 120 routes.
The entity operates from three main three main depots: Spanish Town, Portmore, and Rockfort in Kingston, offering a range of services including Charter and Premium Express. All right, guys. So that's the end of the update article. So let us know what you think about the JLP and more specifically Daryl Vaz saving the JUTC. Alright guys, leave your comments in the section below. Have a good day.